Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a mining pool that you can mine Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin, and a bunch of other coins, and it's a really low payout. So that's the reason why I'm kind of showing you, because this pool could be good for you as a home miner, or someone that might have like small rigs, just a small farm in general, and it might take you a while to build up like payouts for some bigger pools and things like that. Well, this pool will pretty much allow you to get payouts every 24 hours with a really low payout and I'm going to show you the overview of the whole pool itself and I'll also go into Hive OS and show you the whole flight sheet and how to set it up and get it running. Myself I'm currently mining uh, vert coin so it'll be vert hash algorithm and that pays me out in dogecoin right now. I did uh, litecoin for the longest time I was still mining vert hash so there is a few algorithms on here that you can mine and then you can get paid out in whatever coin so it's kind of like unminable and a few other pools where you mine an algorithm and it can pay you out in whatever coin it does the auto converting for you so first we'll go over the pool here and as you see it's hashcryptos.com i'll post a link in the description for you to check it out it's very simple and easy to use they don't over it by any means so up here is going to be where you search your wallet address once you do get mining but we'll scroll down here and as it states it's simplicity anonymous and secure and best profits and i mind you i am not being paid or affiliated with the pool at all i just have been using it for probably about six to 12 months uh, as of now and i just find it's a good pool just for the low payouts and things like that and i'm kind of mining towards more like bigger and known coins compared to spec mining i still spec mine here and there but i like getting my litecoin my bitcoin and just holding like all those as a big supply so once you scroll down a bit there's a little section here how to start mining it's as simple as you go over here and you can click on what you want to mine so for example like i said i am mining vert hash so you can click vert hash there's Equihash, there's Kapow, there's a few others. There's not a crazy amount, but these are the more stable algorithms that are known and out there to mine. So I'm just gonna click Vert Hash, for example, and then what you wanna get paid in. So here's the selection of coins. It's not anything huge. It's the more bigger coins that are known compared to like more of the meme coins and spec mining. This one sticks to the bigger coins in itself. So you can do Bitcoin, uh, you can do Digibyte, Dogecoin, Litecoin, uh, Pepe Pau, there's a few, Vertcoin, Ravencoin, like I said, this just depends what you want to be paid out in, so like I said, for the longest time I did Litecoin, but right now I'm doing Dogecoin, and again, like I said, the first one is what algorithm you are going to mine, the second one is what you're going to be paid in, and then of course you add your wallet address, so I'll just quickly go over here, this is not showing, like I'm just showing you guys like how to get it set up here, so I'll copy the Doge wallet address. I, again, I will explain the setup later. I just want to show you guys how to get everything. So there's my Doge address. You click activate and get miner settings. So once you click the activate, as you see in there, it'll pull up the miner settings here. Uh, so the URL, your username and password's optional. And that, we'll go over a couple more things here before we jump over to the flight sheet. Here's the payouts. The payouts are PPS, so pay per share. Payouts in all currencies default to every 24 hours, but you can change it obviously just like most pools. And here's what I was talking about. The minimum amount for all currency is 0 0.0000750, just due to network restrictions, so they would make it lower, but yeah. So even for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, this coin, that coin, whatever one you're doing on this website, that's going to be the minimum payout right there. So it's really easy, even if you have a single rig or something small, you're just mining at home from a single computer. This pool might be more your alley. Of course, if you want to do spec mining and all that and kind of gamble a little bit, you can do that. But if you want something that's a little more straightforward and being paid out a little more consistent, this is your option. Again, every 24 hours, as long as you hit this minimum, you will be paid out in the corresponding coin. And the best part is they don't charge any fees. Whatever coins you mine are yours. The only fees that are uh, there is obviously the transaction fees from the network themselves. This pool here does not add any more additional fees or pool fee, this or that. It's all just goes right to your pocket. All you're paying is the network fee, which is obviously always standard with any crypto. And I guess here you can go over the algorithms. You can see I don't really go off of the past 24 hour profitability because some people are always changing. It's usually not always steady. Some of them like Kapow and stuff, they'll be a little more steady. 
But again, like myself, I'm mining vert hash, and as you see, it says 15 cents, but I'm getting a lot more than that, obviously, myself. I think that's just per uh, vert coin or something like that. I'm not sure how they come up with the profitability, but I just kind of tune that out because I know how much my rig makes with my power and all that. You just got to see the algorithm here. So like I said, you have your equi hashes, you have your ghost rider, so you do have CPU options. You have Kapow, you have uh, RandomX, Scripts, SHA, VertHash, and all the Yes Scripts as well, or Y Scripts, whatever you want to call them. So there's an option for every type of rig. If you do have a lower end one, I would suggest a few of these. If you have like a lower end CPU or GPU as well, like I'm talking two or three gigabytes. If you do have a higher end one, uh, I would suggest something like Kapow, or if you have something in the middle, even lower end, like one or two gigabytes, VertHash can do. So again, this kind of opens up the mining ability for more lower end people. Or if you literally just have a pile of old cards sitting around that you just want to fire up for the fun of it and just learn about mining, this pool would be something that I would consider. Again, just because of the uh, algorithms and the options they do give and then the payouts. So you can use older tech and still be paid in like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin and still build up something small. Most people are argue, obviously, you can buy some in each day and it'd be more. But some people just don't have money to be buying up and set aside where they already have these graphics cards from years and years ago, let's say. So it's just kind of free money. It's nothing different from what the bank does. The bank just sits there and prints money. You can just sit there and print money regardless of how much it is, obviously, depending on your electricity and your situation. I pay cheap electricity, so that's why I've still been mining. I still mine to this day. I know I haven't been active on this channel, but let me tell you, I've still been mining, doing my thing. I haven't been able to expand my mining too much because I've maxed out the hydro capacity at my apartment building here, and I kind of want to keep a little bit, like I don't want to max out my panel completely, obviously. So I just have a little bit of room left, but again, I have to get something bigger in order to keep expanding and get more rigs. Sorry for my little tangent there, I kind of rant, as you know, in my videos. I just like to bring information and just person to person, you know, I'm just an average miner. You know, I'm just a household miner, I'm not anything crazy. So, I like sharing the knowledge. But now we'll go over to HiveOS and I'll show you guys how to set this up on your uh, flight sheets here so you can mine to hash cryptos. Alright, so once we get over to HiveOS here, you're going to want to select your farm, as I have mine here. You click on that, and then you want to click in the flight sheets. And then what you want to do is add a new flight sheet here and for add a coin ticker. So you're going to want to add the coin for the algorithm that you're going to mine. So for example, I was mining a, vert, a mining vert coin. So for that algorithm, I'll choose that coin. So whatever algorithm you choose. So if you go back here, uh, I want to mine in and say you click Equihash or if you click like, uh, where is it? Uh, Kapow, you want to select like Raven. And like I said, if you want to do vert coin or vert hash, you select the vert coin and then you click the corresponding wallet and then select pool. And then you want to do configure in miner. And then you want to use the mining software for whatever algorithm you're doing. So you might have to do a little bit of looking around for depending on the algorithm you're choosing. I know for mine, I can use SRB as one. So what you want to do then is once you have your miner selected, you want to click set up miner config. And then the wallet address is going to be the corresponding wallet you put in here. So, so whatever coin you want to be paid out in. So if I'm doing Dogecoin, I'll use a Doge wallet. If you're using Litecoin, you want to use a Litecoin wallet and so on and so forth. So what you do is click uh, paste and put your wallet address in there for the coin you want to be paid out in. Worker name you can leave or fill in depending what you want to do. Uh, pool server. So you click activate and get minor settings. And that will bring you to here and there's a pool there so you copy it and you paste it and some require uh, the stratum plus TCP some don't I'm pretty sure SRB doesn't and then password you don't have to have one but I usually put like X or something and then you click apply changes and then you can name the flight sheet and click create flight sheet and then once you have it created here you want to set it to your worker so I'll just click on one of mine here so if you click on it here and then go over to flight sheet, it should be down in your settings here. It'll be whatever the algorithm you're mining here for the first two. And then it should be whatever miner you set up and then click the rocket and you launch it just like mine. So you see how mine's set up. It has vert coin and the vert uh, wallet address. 
but then in the template it has a dogecoin address and if we were to search that up so i just started mining it like not too long ago here you click search this is what the dashboard will look like it will show you all your current workers so i have my worker name set up as you see it'll show you the algorithm how much you're currently uh, your balance is and then as you see here it shows the total and then you can see the direct payouts here and then you can see your earnings right about here so all the information's here it's a nice simple pool it's a nice simple dashboard and once you get it set up and running here everything should be good it just might take a minute or two for your wallet to set up and register like you might not see your workers right away because it just takes a minute but other than that everything's been fine like i said i've been using this pool for months and months and months now and never had any issues so yeah i just wanted to bring this to your attention so that way you guys can see um just an alternative so you don't have to stick to like the main pools that are used and if you want something with a lower payout so you don't have to wait as long this is going to be your option so yeah that's all i got for you guys today if you did enjoy this video or slash tutorial make sure to hit that like and subscribe button i hope you all have an amazing day and this is krebsy crypto signing out